A well known Central Texas cheerleader is in the hospital tonight after a shooting in Elgin. Police say a 25 year old man there fired shots into a car at an HEB parking lot, injuring two people. Cax and Sarah Al Shaf reports on what may have led to the shooting. It was unfortunate. These girls were um, just trying to get home. Lynn Shear, owner of Woodlands Elite Cheer Company out of the Houston area, says four cheerleaders that go to her gym were involved in a shooting here at this HEB parking lot on US 290 in Elgin. These kids have grown up in our gym. We've known them for years, some of them literally since they were, you know, eight, ten years old. Shear says the cheerleaders carpool from the Austin area to her gym. She says Monday night they were returning back to this HEB where they parked their cars when one of the girls accidentally tried to get in the wrong car. Shear says Says that's what started the shooting. The guy got out and they saw that he had a gun and so they tried to speed off and he shot his gun like five times or so. According to the Elgin Police Department, multiple shots were fired into a vehicle injuring two. One person was treated at the scene. Another was taken to the hospital by helicopter. She says that person was Round Rock ISD cheerleader Peyton Washington. She's won every title there is to win in all star cheerleading. She's literally a role model for the kids in this industry throughout the country. Everybody knows her. According to Stony Point High School's cheerleader booster club, Washington was one of their own senior varsity cheerleaders as well. The suspect in this shooting, 25 year old Pedro Teo Rodriguez Jr. He is charged with deadly conduct, a third degree felony. Elgin PD says the investigation is still active and additional or enhanced charges could be filed. And as Washington embarks on this road to recovery, Shear says she and the Woodlands elite team will be there every step of the way. Our goal right now is just to take it one day at a time and um, be there for them. Sarah Alshah, KXAN News. And the Stony Point Cheer Booster Club says Washington is recovering at a nearby hospital after surgery. We reached out to Elgin PD to get more details on what exactly happened leading up to this shooting, but they said they have no further details at this time. For some perspective, the city of Elgin is listed among the top six safest cities in Texas. That's according to SafeWise rankings last September. The website compiles safety data and uses FBI crime reports and demographic data to come up with its rankings.